cult of pickles hack the box web challenge so let's spin up the machine and let's see so this is a basic site just the home page then view let's check the next item if you look we can see that this id is changing like if we give 3 so let's see if there is any id or present let's give 10 internal servers let's see so we have something to download just download it and unzip the file we will get this now open it in vs code ok we have a config docker file we can run it locally ok then the application run by ok let's see through the code in the models.py the product id parameter is directly given which causes an sql injection so let's test it out let's spin up burn uh, let's keep it basic use verb default so let's see the request This is the request. So let's send to repeater. Control R. Now let's see the response. Yeah. So we can include our payload here. So our payload will look like or ID equals one. So this will close uh, this one and also this one. It will look like this. Select data from products where id equals nothing or id equals 1. See? Let's test it out. And you are encode that. Control U. Yeah, some error with that. Let's use an online URL encoder. So let's input our payload and let's encode. So this is the final form. Let's use it. Send. Yeah, we are getting a 200 response. An SQL injection is not enough. So let's see the code again. In app.py, if we closely examine, Pickle is used to serialize and deserialize data. See? So, let's check it out. So, there is this amazing write up by David. Go through this and you will get a detailed understanding of how this pickle works. So we can use chain these two exploits to get the flag. Now we exploit dot by import pickle. Import base64 import OS. Now let's craft the payload. CP. This is now a page called static to save the images. So let's copy our flag to this static and then read from there. Okay. CP flag or txt.
so this is our payload now let me explain the code at first the three important modules are called pickle base64 and os then we create our payload we copy the flag.txt to application slash static then we create a class exploit and we use the reduce method in python that is used by the pickle module which we imported which is used for deserialization and serialization process it returns a tuple containing a callable and an argument in this case it is os.system and payload as argument the instance of the exploit class is pickled using pickle.dump the pickling converts the python object into a serializer byte string then we use base64.url safe to convert it into safe url friendly string okay now let's run it now let's write the exploit copy this and our exploit will look like union select and then our payload so let's take this go to burp then paste it but first we need to url encode this Let's send this. We are getting a 200 OK. Now let's check this page. Static slash flag.txt. Now let's check our flag.txt if it's present. Yeah, we got it. This is an excellent write-up for this challenge. Here he explains different ways of exploiting it. Check it yourself and try a few ways, like getting a reverse shell and etc.